Hans Tomacki here from our continuing series in the Arctic. Now, I've come to a brilliant location uh, called the Devil's Jaw. And as you can see behind me, you've got these really jagged uh, peaks. And to, catch, to capture this at sunset is ideal. Get the last light on it. But to make sure that you get the shot the way you want it, you've got to go really low. So I'm sitting here on a, a nice cold rock, but which brings me to um, the idea. I'm sitting on my tripod bag. I've got a Gitzo uh, padded tripod bag. A lot of photographers ask me, why do I have a tripod bag? And I always wonder, why don't other photographers have tripod bags? I always see them carrying these around. It's more comfortable carrying it in a bag, but I use this all the time to sit on. When I'm sitting here for about an hour, on a cold rock, you don't want to get a cold bum. So uh, this is great, and when you're kneeling down in the snow or whatever, it's brilliant for that too. Um, now, continue on now, now that we're sitting comfortably, I'm going to talk you through the situation here that I actually accomplished these images. Um, now, as I walked around here today, there was all sorts of different compositions here, but rather than actually scurry around trying to get all these different ones and not getting the best of every uh, of maybe just one. I concentrated just on one. And for me, this was the key shot. So as you can see here, we've got these angles of the shoreline leading up uh, to the uh, mountains in the background. And you can see the waves just coming up over. At times, it was crashing in t over the, uh, the rocks and coming into this pool of water, disturbing the reflections. So in order to um, smooth out the reflections, I used a little stopper. Uh, which gave me about a 30 second exposure, which is perfect for uh, smoothing out all the reflections. And now the key thing is to get these reflections, you've got to go really low. So that's why I've put my uh, tripod out like this, so that I've got this really low angle and I'm capturing the, uh, oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I'm glad you're seeing this. This has just been an amazing day. And to finish it up here at Devil's Jaw to capture this and experience this has just been wonderful. Um, so anyway, back to uh, the technique here. As you can see, I'm shooting with uh, the D850, which is great when it's low like this, I can pop the, uh, the screen out. I don't have to crank my neck down to look through the viewfinder. Um, I've used a, a two-stop soft grad just coming in uh, from the side on the top of the frame because I'm, I'm polarizing this because we have some really gorgeous light on this and in order to, when I'm polarizing, it's creating this uneven effect. So I'm just evening out that polarization by bringing that in from the right hand side. Okay, next, apertures. ISOs, obviously we, I'm shooting at 100 ISO, which I love to shoot at because I'm on a tripod, don't need anything higher than that. Uh, aperture, I was, did some exposures at f14. Um, but um, I also did a focus stack, so I, I changed it down to f8, and I focused right down in the the, uh, the foreground here, and then focused right through, getting various different uh, images that I'm going to combine later. So it'll be nice to compare those two shots, the f14 with the focus stack to f8, and see which one is actually the sharpest. Okay, next, let's talk about composition. So right now, as I mentioned, I'm using the angles leading in uh, to the mountains in the background, but this also creates a brilliant panoramic. So I did a panoramic, getting the whole mountain range in, and then um, a vertical, and obviously the, the horizontal as well. So when I arrived here, there was a minibus full of tourists, and there's a lot of other photographers here as well. Uh, and they were all scurrying around on the rocks, just trying to take pictures as much as possible. But I like to actually work a location and get the best from it from one spot and just work that one spot as much as possible. So when I, I was looking around for different compositions, I, I saw this and I thought, oh, this, is, this is the best composition, I think, um, getting the reflection shot here in this pool. So I just set up on here and just work this from one position, getting all the different um, uh, orientations, as I mentioned, the panoramic, the verticals, horizontals, and so forth. So this is a tip that I would give you is that I've seen this a lot on workshops where I see photographers actually um, scurrying around trying to get different shots, um, but they end up with a lot of um, 
good shots, but not the best that they could actually get from one location. So I really believe in, in just sticking with one little position and work that to the max. So as you can see, the lights are starting to go. It's getting darker here. And normally I would be heading back to my base for hot chocolate and uh, dinner, but hey, we're in the Arctic. What's the Arctic known for? Northern Lights. I'm staying out. Uh, it's supposed to be in a five tonight on the KP scale, which is amazing. So clear skies, fingers crossed, I'm gonna get some great shots tonight. So thanks for joining me here in the Arctic. If you haven't subscribed to us yet, uh, please do so now. Hit those like buttons. And I'll see you again, hopefully in warmer climes next time. Bye for now. Thank you.